Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back. Hopefully this video finds you well. Uh, got a new background, <laughs> at least for the time being. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at Mountain House Classic. Uh, Chili Mac with beef. I think, um, I think we can all agree Chili Mac, probably top tier. It's definitely a top tier ration in Mountain House. They do their rations right. I, I've never had much issue with, with Mountain House in general. Um, yeah, I, gosh, I don't know that I've ran into much. Uh, well, the sweet and sour pork was a little, uh, a little bland. <laughs> anyway, but Chili Mac is always a good uh, standby along with uh, beef stew. But this they call their original recipe. Now we did try the original recipe biscuits and gravy a while back and I don't really remember there being a ton of difference. I think that the biggest difference might have been one had more like sage in it or whatever, but there wasn't a huge difference. So today we're going to check this out and see if there's any big glowering uh, difference between this and the Chili Mac we know and love. So this is a three serving pouch. Now, generally three servings is a bit much for me to eat in one setting. I kind of wish that I could get like the one serving pouches, but I really haven't been able to find those anywhere. Two serving is obviously fine. These do have a nice zip top, so you can save it, but you know, man. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> ingredients list here. If you're interested in that, looks, you know, pretty relatively mild there. And preparation instructions, we're looking for two and a third cup or 19 ounces or 562 milliliters of boiling water. And uh, wait five minutes, stir again, reseal, let stand four minutes. So about nine, ten-ish minutes based upon the recommendation. Now, for those of you who have watched the channel, is there an oxygen absorber? There it is. There she blows. Now, for those of you who have watched the channel, you guys do know that I'm not a huge instruction person, not saying that the instructions are wrong. You should follow the instructions because normally that's pretty good. They have those for a reason, right? But generally my method is I will add in enough, uh, you know, boiling or hot water to sort of make my meal look roughly how I would like it when it was done and then add a little bit more because you will have to leave some room there for the rehydration process and things that do have pasta, rice, beans, those will take a little bit more water to rehydrate than things without them. And I do give it a pretty healthy stir because I want to make sure that all the powder and stuff, yeah, there we go, there's a nice big old pocket of powder I just got into. Really want to make sure that all the powder is properly dissolved in the water and that will require a little bit of stirring. But I do get some people who get a little irritated with my stirring and, you know, I'm sorry. So sorry. This is a lot of water though. Actually a little bit more than what my normal little vessel holds. This is about 500 milliliters. So technically it wants the entirety of that particular vessel plus a little bit more. And I would say, I think I've got everything up from the bottom. There's a little bit on my spoon there that just needs to get off. But uh, this is this is pretty good. It's, uh, you know, relatively soupy. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of this just for giggles. So that's a full 550 milliliters right there, buddy. And we are going to let this sit. Now it will leach up quite a bit. And I might have to add a little bit more, but if I do, I'll let you know when we come back. But for now, let's go ahead and let that sit and uh, let it reconstitute. All right, and we're back with our Chili Mac here. I didn't actually add any additional water. I think that this looks pretty okay. Let's get it on the tray. I won't necessarily throw all of that on there because that's a lot of Chili Mac for one setting. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of Chili Mac there. All right, so classic Chili Mac. Yeah, that's a good consistency, I, I like that. Let's go ahead and give her, give her, a, give her a scoop. <laughs> Here we go, some on my hand, it's fine. Mm. 
Okay. Um, would it be weird if I said this tastes a lot less tomatoey than most of the Mountain House Chili Mac packages? Hmm. Let's get some meat. Meat and beans there. So observations. One, the noodles held up well. Those are like the perfect consistency. The meat's a good consistency. The beans have rehydrated well. There is a little bit more of a spice in this. I don't, maybe it's been a little while since I've had I wouldn't call it spicy, but there's like a back end hit of spice, which is nice. I don't know if that's necessarily as, as, as present um, in some of the newer Chili Macs, but I'm actually going to grab some hot sauce out of the fridge here. I think we'll go, yeah, we'll go with this one here. We'll, uh, we'll get it. We'll get all shook up and kick the camera, but we'll get all shook up with this Elvis sauce that I got and reviewed a while ago. Um, I will say though, it kind of, uh, I don't know, just the lacks flavor. Like it's good, but it's almost like it's lacking a little bit of tomato flavor that maybe, maybe the more modern equivalent has. But I gotta say, I don't think I've had many Chili Macs without hot sauce in it. So let, let's go ahead and add, add the hot sauce. And I think this one's a relatively mild, eh, medium. They call it medium hot sauce. But let's see if that changes any of the balance here. And normally on trail, I'd probably just use Tabasco or Frank's, but I like to be bougie. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's just that extra little kick the hot sauce brings maybe I'm remembering more of. Mm. Solid. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a solid meal. But yeah, maybe I've just had so many Chili Macs and I'm almost requiring hot sauce now for Chili Mac. <laughs> Might do the same with beef stew. Maybe I should, maybe I should try that experiment sometime. Mm. I love Chili Mac though. It is one of the quintessential, you know, just rations that everybody should try. It's very good overall. It's simple. It's simple, but it's very good. So if you want to try the classic, definitely feel free. I don't think there's a huge difference between the classic and the new. I think it's just more of a marketing thing, more 70s oriented packaging. I actually don't even know. Has Mountain House uh, been around since 1970? Mmm, eh, mmm, yeah, it doesn't really say, um, or have like a, when did we start date, but regardless, good meal, overall it's nice, not distinguishably different, but much better with hot sauce, so there we go. If any of you have tried this one, let me know in the comments down below, love hearing from you, leave me suggestions for future videos down there as well. If you'd like to have anything reviewed on the channel, the P.O. box is in the description. Patreon link's also down there as well. You don't have to support the channel, but if you want to, that's an avenue to do it. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.